Libras, how are you doing today? All right, we're going to see what Divine has to say to you, what Spirit has to say to you um, on today. <clears throat> All right, so I just want to thank all spirits and divine and ancestors and everybody who is guiding me to the message of Libra. As that you let me flow through their a certain wavelength to connect with the ones who happen to fall into this path. <sighs> and thank you for protecting me from the things of Libra that is not for me. I do ask that uh, you remember this is a collective reading. So take what is for you and what's not for you. Um, you know, just keep it in your back pocket. All right, so we're going to start off with the Oracle card to see what's setting the tone for you guys. It might not be the tone of the overall reading, but just to keep in mind. All right, so this is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Self Note. Okay, uh, just keep in mind, if my camera seems to be wobbling, it's because my table is unbalanced and I am unsure why. But yeah, let's get into this reading. Alright, Libra, so it's telling you to expect a powerful change, okay? So it seems like um, some enlightenment could be coming in, some brighter days could be coming in, a powerful shift as well for you guys, okay? Yeah, the new moon and eclipse, okay? Something can be getting ready to take off. Alright, so what do we have for Libra? What is this powerful change for my Libras? Alright, so we have the Ten of Cups falling off the deck already. Somebody could be losing a loved one very soon, or a loved one can be sick. I'm also hearing for some of you guys, your days of crying is over. Some of you guys could have been worried about something um, and not being able to see the blessings that were about to come in. I don't need that whole stack of cards. All right, we have the eight of wands. Something is about to come in pretty quick. Or you could be receiving a lot of messages from some family members about somebody who is sick. I'm also hearing like you're getting, you're going to be seeing signals, signs, a lot of signals and signs, okay? All right, we have the two of cups underneath the ten of cups. So some of you, some of you could be going into a relationship or just getting into a partnership that happens to be fulfilling. I feel like this is unexpected, something that's going to be happening pretty fast. And this could be the powerful change, something that you need. Libra, you popped out in your own reading. Uh, with this Queen of Swords, this is somebody that can hold their own. Somebody who is strong. So this could be a fire sign, an Aries, Sagittarius, or a Leo that's coming in. Some of you guys could also be getting a lot of business ideas coming in for you guys at this time as well. <clears throat> yeah, the five of wands. So you guys could be seeing five quite a bit. You know, 55 is like a big shift, a big change that's coming in. Um, with this Queen of Swords, it's just making me think like something is about to clear the pathway. This could be um, your angels clearing the pathway for you. There's somebody definitely like watching and wanting a downfall from you. Yeah, we got the Four of Swords. Somebody could be thinking a lot, like their mind is just going on about a lot of things. Somebody's not finding no peace. Like you're constantly trying to figure out how to make something work or what to do. Or you could just be constantly trying to produce something. 
I feel like you could be getting drained. All right, there's someone who's trying to tap into your energy. Libra. Somebody's trying to figure out how you getting what you getting. Somebody's trying to figure out how you getting your blessings. Hmm. Somebody's going to be trying to figure out how you're getting your blessings. Somebody didn't expect you to, to get what you're about to get. Also, with this five of wands, this four of swords, and the seven of pentacles, uh, like I said, you could be racking your brain trying to figure out like how to produce something, how to get something going, and you're not getting a lot of rest. Uh, Spirit is definitely telling you like you guys are needing to kind of like recharge, reset yourself, reground yourself. Um, for what's about to come into you. They're just saying, let us carry you, okay? During this time, we're going to carry you. You just focus on, you know, getting your energy together and getting everything aligned and getting everything in place. Don't stress yourself out trying to worry about how things are going to work out, okay? Don't stress yourself out how, trying to make sure that you get these blessings or things that you've been asking for. Spirit is saying, we're going to carry you, okay? We're going to carry you. You just rest before it's time for you to, to push because you're going to have to do a lot of pushing, pushing through, okay? All right. During this time, you might want to start saving finances as well. Some of you guys can be seeing the number 10, 10. 10 has popped out quite a bit so far. I'm also hearing that some of you guys could be moving into a beautiful home. You could be being led into a beautiful position. Okay? Something that could bring you, something that can, you know, bring you some stability, some kind of residual income. You could be doing something that's going to bring you a constant income. For some of y'all, y'all could be dealing with some familial betrayal, okay? I don't know if it's based around some finances or something. I don't know when this person passes. If there's somebody who passes away that I was picking up at the beginning, somebody could be like, uh, it has something to do with the will. Somebody feeling like they deserve more, okay? Somebody feeling like you don't deserve something, Okay. I'm also hearing don't tire yourself out before you get to the blessing. What else do we have for um, Libra? What else do we have for Libra? Mm -hmm. Alright, seem like all times right now that I'm recording are going through some kind of change. But this death and rebirth, I feel like it's a crossover. Yeah, there could be a loved one that's going to be crossing over, okay? But they're saying that just because they crossed over doesn't mean they're still here. Yeah, somebody's transitioning from here on earth and going into the spirit world, somebody that you love. But a lot of you guys also, this could be just new love coming in for you. A new relationship that's, I want to say like equally yoked. It seems like you're holding on tight to something and um, you're not really seeing the bigger picture. So it's something that you need to release. Like you're holding on to something because you don't want to lose it. 
and it's time for you to let go. Like this could be some some past feelings or something that you're holding on to, and you're letting it keep you from, you know, blessings being released to you fully, or you know, fully going into your full potential. You have the Five of Pentacles here, so it's just like some of you guys could be holding on to the need of money, or holding on to a negative mindset of money, or you know, a negative mindset of something, uh, something that you think about that can bring you down. And they're just wanting you to release that. Okay, once you release that, that's where that powerful change comes in. Stop secretly watching somebody. Let them go. Yeah, a lot of you guys are giving too much of your energy to a situation. Okay. And that's what you're, I feel like that's what you're creating. That's what you're manifesting. Yeah, the four of swords okay once again this is time for you to rebuild a lot of you guys it's funny because i think you already had this card um but uh eight of wands came out here twice so you can be seeing the number 88 it is time for you guys to start rejuvenating okay like i said recharging your energy okay reset your thoughts reset reground okay it's time for you to start resting pulling yourself together it seems like rest is very, very important for you guys before things start to take off for you. You need to be able to um, handle what's about to happen. All right, just one more card, one or two more cards. All right, you can be seeing the financial shift as well. Um, you could be, a job could be closing, you could be losing money. Uh, once again, with the tower and the page of pentacles in reverse, I feel like once again, you could be losing somebody um, and a family so a familial death might be happening or a close or somebody that's close to you could be passing away um but yeah that's what i have for you libra hope you enjoyed